Hi, well, my name is Vinay and uh, in this video we will see the demonstration of a uh, two-stage op-amp <coughs> made using the uh, schematic of DSCA software. Okay, so the experiment is in according to this one, so where the user has to make a two-stage op-amp and measure unity gain bandwidth, dB bandwidth, which is almost the same and gain margin, phase margin, with and without capacitance. So use the pump invert, inverting on inverting configuration and steady the effect on UGB bandwidth gain power by varying the transfer geometries and record the observation. So what I will do, I will just share the schematic and uh, the user can make all the changes because uh, making all the changes will require a humongous amount of efforts to do that anyhow. So here we go. So I just opened the example which is stored in my folder, okay, and uh, so this is the schematic of the amplifier. It's in kind of like two stage op amp in a push pull configuration. So if you require a documentation, so you can refer uh, the basics uh, of CMOS cell design approved by Dr. Dean Sikhar and Sonia Bendia, and. Uh, in this on the chapter 9 which is on the analog CMOS cell so here there is a uh, description being given on the push pull amplifier configuration this is what I've used so that is a schematic okay so here uh, I will not go more of detail but but still like this is uh, a current PMOS current mirror and another set of PMOS current mirror both are connected back to back uh, driving an input from V plus and V minus. So that's a plus current mirror and that's a minus current mirror. Both are coupled to each other. So that's a biasing circuit. So you can change the bias by changing the width or the length or proportion of this. So that's goes the reference voltage. And this is the output stage, uh, P MOS and L MOS. So they are supposed to be of large width so that you have a lower output impedance and uh, thereby having a high current drive at the output. So the examples are also given in the book and which are available in the schematic folder of the microwave software. But uh, uh, I have taken a liberty to recreate the schematic. So um, what I'm doing is I'm using a 90 nanometer CMOS technology. And this is what you can see the various transistor configurations like this is my bias side. So this is a reference voltage which goes to this NMOS driving stage. So which is V minus and here this is like V plus current mirror and that's minus current mirror of the PMOS and here you can see that the output PO which is having a width of 10 micrometer and that is an NMOS driving stage which is 5 micrometer. Okay. So let's say I go in non-inverting configuration so I can just go simple and make half of it. Okay. And uh, this one is, I, I make it sinusoidal figure. Okay. Yeah. And uh, this is, I give a sinusoidal of 200 megahertz with an amplitude of 50 millivolt and offset at 0.6 volt. So you can do an uh, analog simulation using the WinSpice software. So you can go to file, generate spice, set it to transient, and uh, maybe you can set it to 15 nanosecond. It's fair enough. So here you can see the spice file and say run then spice. So it opens the spice simulator and this oh sorry, it shows in the DB. So that means I'll, I have to make it linear. Yeah. So there you see uh, that the green one is the input, which is of 50 millivolt, and the output. So you can measure the gain by checking the voltage. This is there. So you get almost like 1.1 to 0.1. So this is a one volt. So one volt divided by 50 millivolt, that would be uh, 20. So that would be your gain. So that's quite significant enough. Okay. And as since it's a high gain design, so that's why uh, the bandwidth is very, very uh, limited to an ring only. Anyhow, we just see it again. So P minus, so you apply the 200 megahertz with an amplitude of 50 millivolt. Maybe I can give it just 20 millivolt. And uh, I just go to file, generate spice, transit it should be, and run with spice. So, thereby you see that uh, it amplifies and works nicely. 
Okay. Now let's say you want to see uh, another stuff of it. You, you want to see uh, the AC analysis of it. So you can click AC analysis. You can set it to DB mode. Okay. You can give the bandwidth uh, for which range you want to see the AC analysis. So run, run spice. So thereby you see it. So that's quite a linear to a range. And after some close to a uh, few hundred megahertz, uh, the gain reduces and goes down to a lower value. Okay, a 10 dB uh, cutoff is there. Okay, so that's what you can do. Now, let's say you, this was the, about the gain margin, and if you want to see the face, so for that you need to do a little bit of editing. So you have to go to the folder where uh, this uh, spice file is edited, so you can see this within spice circuit file. I open this in a notepad program. You can open in any notepad program you like. Okay. I just go to the end of the file, and here you see that this is plotting in the DB gain. So I just give it face margin. I just change instead of VP, I just give it uh, uh, instead of VDB, I just give it VP. I just save it. I'm sorry. So I just double click on this. Oh, sorry. Mm. I just try to open it. Did I make any mistake? Yeah, no. I think there has to be a space or oh, no space. I think one of it. Yeah, so there has to be no space. So I just reduce, remove the space here. Yeah, and to save the file. Yeah, so that is a face mark. Okay, so thereby the face is almost like linear, but uh, after just few hundreds of megahertz, uh, the face changes drastically. Okay, so that's how it comes. Okay, now if you uh, update this uh, from the DSC software. The file will be modified and you have to redo it again. So you just go to AC analysis, say run with spice. So this comes very neat and clean. Okay, so that is straight one. Okay, so that was in a uh, non inverting mode, I believe. And yeah, that's a non inverting mode. Okay, so if you see that, no, this was an inverting mode. Okay, so this is the plus. Okay. So plus is set to an offset value and I'm applying an input only and minus. So let's do vice versa. So I just give 20 millivolt over here and V minus I just set to simple and offset at 0.6 volt. Okay. Now I just go to file. See it's the expanse file. Okay. There you are. So that's a non-inverting configuration. Okay. And if you want to see the other stuff like AC analysis, DB plot. So that's what we can see. So again, this guy also is quite linear enough and goes down after a few megahertz. So maybe you can just see that if what will happen if I just increase the frequency, not this one, this one. So I just make it to 2 gigahertz and run the spice file in transient in linear. So thereby you see that the offset comes up. Like, you know, uh, it is not the straight power. It should have been over here, but the output is on the lower amplitude and the amplitude is shifting uh, quite things are happening because the frequency we are out of the frequency band okay because that's what the AC analysis said that you have to remain under uh, a mega range only this one okay so what will happen if I just come back to my normal one and this one yeah and maybe just give it 20 megahertz let's spike the value Transient linear, maybe this time I just go 200 mega nanosecond. Yeah, this works. This works. So, under power megahertz range, it works nicely, but under above this one, it will shift here and there. That's what the phase margin in the game margin says. Because if you just click on AC and say DV analysis, that's what the uh, game margin. And if you just want to see that one, so I just reload the file. So here you see that it makes it uh, dB, so I make it back to dB. So the plot, this is a 
face plot. Now this comes the face plot. Okay, the face will vary after every just a couple of uh, megahertz, and the face will change a few hundred megahertz. So, gentlemen, this is a push pull amplifier, uh, as two stage op amp. So, rest of the results you can collect with your simulation results, and uh, you can get your copy of DSCS software and Micron software uh, with the help of which you can simulate all these experiments. Thank you very much.